you kind of get uh, just start sweating. Like, you know, he sweats a lot. So um, at, at any point, it, I mean, I think at any point it can happen, you know, whether it's the second or third inning. Um, you know, you got to remember it happened the sixth inning because he was running through through the game fairly quickly. Uh, yesterday he had, you know, a tough time uh, came in a strike zone. Uh, so, you know, it happened in the fourth inning. Um, but like I said, well, you know, they're, they're going to take a look at him. They're going to run some tests on him and see, see if we can prevent this from happening anymore. Is the plan still if he's able to keep him in the rotation and go six men? Yes, yes, for sure. Does the fact that you have six, a six-man rotation mean you maybe have an extra day to kind of run some stuff and kind of figure some things out, especially with the off day on Monday? Yeah, I mean, if we have to do something different, I think we'll, I think we'll be covered. Um, but, I, but I would like to keep him on schedule. Um, so, like I said, we'll. Uh, I know he's, you know, he's gonna, we're going to do some things with him, see, uh, see if we can get this narrowed down, and that he can go out there and compete. Yeah, Hunter Harvey, you said you went to check and see how he felt. Today. How does Hunter Harvey feel after throwing yesterday? Yeah, he, he felt fine. He's going to throw again um, tomorrow. And then uh, we'll reevaluate him then. But he felt he said he felt good. Lead back from Rainey. Rainey said Rainey said he felt good. So um, I think he's scheduled to throw another uh, sim sim game uh, either Monday or Tuesday. If that goes well, then you know we're going to talk about maybe sending him somewhere. When you, when you look at having a seven man bullpen versus an eight, is there a different way maybe you approach? Having one less guy in there, and in how you manage it, how you manage your starters when you have that difference. The, the way to manage it is hopefully your starters can go deep in games. Um, that you know that definitely helps. But I mean, these guys, like I said, I had a conversation with, with all these guys. Uh, Chad Cam and give them a, an idea of what we're what, what we're doing. Um, you know, as you saw Garcia go one plus innings yesterday. You know we know Corey can do it. Um, you know some of these other guys may have to put you know uh, Williams two innings yesterday. So, um, but the key is to get these guys to you know to. To go deeper in games, you know, we may stretch them out, but then again, like I said, you know, um, we, you know, the starters are, you know, they're built to throw 100 pitches, 105 pitches, but if they throw 90 in four innings, then we, we definitely got to do something else. Um, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll uh, so far so good. I mean, I think we're going to be in good shape today. Uh, you know, Finnegan hasn't thrown in a few days. Uh, Machado needed a day. I was trying to stay away from yesterday. Uh, I'm going to assume that Garcia and La Sorsa will be good to go again today. So, um, but I, I want to make sure I talk to them before the game. I'm sure you're looking to get innings from Jake tonight, and the starts that he has been able to go deep in the game. Just what does he do that allows him to you know, keep that pitch cut down? Yeah, it's, it's, it's efficiency, right? I mean, pounding the strike zone, um, getting early uh, early outs. I mean, that's that's going to be the key for Jake today. Uh, hopefully, he could do that. But the, the most important thing is, is, as I always say, is, is throwing strike one, trying to get ahead and, and work ahead and, and try to get guys out four pitches or less. Um, he's been really good. I mean, um, he, he's he's do, he's done a great job for us. So uh, I want him to continue to do that. And like I said, you know, this is for some of these guys. It's been uh, you know, these August days are, are are pretty tough. You know, so. I mean, that's part of the learning process as well. So I want to see him go out there today and, like I said, get ahead, uh, compete, get out of first inning fairly quickly, and then uh, go from there. You want to see him learn over these back less than two months of the season? Yeah, I want to see. I want to see. I want to see how you know. Like I said, it's a long season for these guys, but I want to see how they manage it. You know. Um, with everything, you know, the whole, you know, the mindset, you know, going out and competing, the, their routine, you know, because um, this will tell us a lot about, you know, who they are and what we can do to help them moving forward for next year. Because, um, you know, next year, you know, for me, you know, it's going to be a, you know, a big year for us. You know, I really, I really believe that. You know, we, we got some young guys that are, that are going to be coming up. We got some guys here that learned a lot and gained some experience. Um, so I want these guys to use this year to learn about, you know, the August September's and and uh, and then go from there. You're talking about Jake Lou. Um, when you're talking about mitigating in left field a little bit, you have Blake and still in your platooning and not playing a time. Where are the situations where you feel like you could maybe use Jake out there versus with versus the two? Yeah, we could we could do something else. I can give Call a day off, move Lane to center. Um, you know, put those two guys, you know, in, in right, um, throw Jake out there. So um, the, the, the best thing about all these guys is that we got flexibility. Um, so it's nice. You know, the, the, thing, the, the thing that I like most about anything is that all of a sudden we're in a game and we're in a pinch and we got to move some things around. That I got a few guys that can move all over and, uh, you know, we could use, utilize them that way as well, too. So um, I, I like that a lot, you know, and, uh, and knowing that, you know, we have Chavi on the bench that could do multiple things, Jake who could do multiple things, Vargas, um, you know, got some, you know, uh, Lane could play everywhere in the outfield. So 
Um, we, we could do some things.